this season. I just love the cold weather. On Highway Through Hell. In this kind of weather, somebody could end up in trouble. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, take her. Ooh, this is bad. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a Sasquatch. Oh, what's up? That was a thing of beauty. We got her now. No, 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 no. Holy crap. Timber! You don't have a choice. You're blocking the highway. Bingo! Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Stop. No. This is level one. I haven't been to level two yet. That was pretty slick. Oh, my. Isn't that awesome? Come through the canyon. Is it looking good? Hey guys, they had a pretty bad wreck up there. Late fall in British Columbia's Cascade Mountains. Jamie Davis here on the air. A modern 25 ton wrecker rolls up the canyon highway. We'll head up there right now. Jamie Davis and his newest iron, HR 130. That is beautiful. Head to a back road recovery. It's a cool truck. We have to have a balance of new and old. We're moving forward. We've got some really good people. We're on the rise, stronger and harder than ever. What's going on up there? 85 kilometers north of Hope. I think it was a crash, I'm not sure. Jamie leaves pavement. I don't know where it is exactly. You guys keep your eyes open there. Joining Jamie, a second wrecker. They say that the truck's like 150 feet down or something like that. You have to look for some marks, I guess. Mechanic Brian Rash. Okay, gotcha. Is in Jamie's prized Holmes 850, Mighty Mo. How much longer until we're there? About 9K out, they said. Oh, they out at 10 4. Also heading to the scene in a flatbed. Oh, look down. Jamie's son, Junior. Wow. And stepson, Brandon. We've got both the boys coming out to the recovery job. The young guys here are helping me today. That, that'll be good. It's a team effort for a call like no other. He's looking for something broken in the ditch here. The accident involves one of their own. This truck's our truck that we're recovering. For us, this is a major deal. There it is there on our left. Nine kilometers in. Holy. That's down there, eh? It's way down there. It is basically a straight down drop. Crap. It's like straight down, too. Wow. The driver, a longtime member of Jamie's team, survived the crash. There's all kinds of things that could have happened there. So really, Rob's a lucky, lucky boy. For nearly a decade, Rob Mitchell... Thanks, Rob. ...has worked for Jamie on and off. You gonna fire me? Uh, no? No, it's the other way around. Rob's a hard worker. This is really tough. Really tough. Miraculously, Rob escaped the wreckage and was rushed to hospital. How the hell did he get out? It's upside down. You said he crawled out through the window and come straight up. This is the biggest accident that we've had since we've been in business. I'm kind of in a state of shock. Son of a gun. This is a mess. Fraser Canyon logging road. Oh my good lord. Jamie's team is reeling. It's like straight down too. Wow. I think that's the worst accident we've ever had. From a wreck involving one of their own. That's a huge, huge crash. I'm amazed he's come out of this wreck alive. I think there's a vehicle on it. Yeah, there's a vehicle on it. Still on it? 
Yeah, it's attached to it right now. Wow. It's gonna be a tough one. The loaded flat deck fell victim to a soft shoulder and tumbled 250 feet down the bank. This is definitely right up there on the 10 mark. Damn. It's pretty far down this hill. All right, I'm going down. 63-year-old Brian takes on the steep bank. That's a mighty long trek down. For a closer look. It might as well be just a straight cliff because there's no easy approach to this. Okay, here we go. I stop, the feet hit first. Oh! Nearing the wreck. My God. Brian sees the pickup is still fully secured to the deck. The truck that he was towing is still on. Kudos for Rob because his rigging didn't break. Okay, I'm gonna crawl around, see what's holding it. Ah. Then. Okay. Brian makes an unsettling discovery. The one lone stump that's coming up is the only thing right now that is holding this truck. One wrong move, and that could give away, and then we're carrying on another 150 feet down. This is going to be really tough. It's almost a vertical, just straight drop off, you know? With a pickup on board, the combined weight is more than 22,000 pounds. This is a different kind of a recovery. Not only are we pulling up the flatbed, but we have another truck attached to it. To rig for the recovery. Come on back and start pulling cable. Why am I doing this? Because you're young, that's why. Jamie recruits oh, oh, really? the next generation. <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good. You're good. Well, you need a little more, you need a little more weight behind it. I'm always trying to teach James Jr. You don't get to know this job overnight. It takes quite a few years. Since he was a young child. Daddy, can I go down with you? Hey, you can come. Junior has joined Jamie on recovery. Okay, get yourself secure, because I'm going to give you the chain. Okay. Growing into the family business. So by the time you're 16, I won't even have to work anymore. It'd be great. Now 17 years old. This goes to the back rear ends, okay? Jamie is counting on Junior to be more hands-on than ever. My knees are pretty beat up from going up and down the bank all the time. Don't go below underneath that truck, because it's only sitting there with a tree holding it up. If I can stay at the top, things will be a lot better for me today. Can you give me a hand, Brian? Winch pullers. I'll be safe. But filling Dad's boots won't be easy. This slope has some very rugged terrain, and it is unlike anything I've ever worked on before. <laughs> He had to bring the heaviest one, eh? <laughs> now at the wreck. OK, it's on the deck. All right. Junior climbs on top to rig. The one that he has goes to the rear. The one you're taking down is to the front. OK. Now it's Brandon's turn to make the rugged descent. Going down this cliff, and the rocks are slipping out from under you. The dirt's falling out from under you. Now, that loop that you made with the chain, you put it in the loop. Brian coaches Junior through the hookup. Excellent. And I'll put it in like right here, right? Yep. I'm learning which points I should be hooking up to, but to always be cautious, too. And then, like that? Yep. And then hook this big, ugly hook through the loop you just made. OK. Oh, like before. Yep, exactly like before. Junior's doing pretty good. Whew. He's picking it up. Top side. I got 250 feet of winch line on this truck, and the, the drum is bare. OK, good to go. The heavies line up for the pull. That's sketchy, man. You don't want to go much farther than that. With two single lines from the homes, and a doubled line from HR-130. They'll try to roll the flat deck 
and coax it up the bank. We're hoping that once Jimmy starts pulling, that the truck will actually invert itself back onto its wheels. The narrow road will be closed until the recovery is done. We don't have much room to work with on the logging road. We're committed now, so traffic just is what it is. I'm absolutely amazed at how many people come out of the woodwork on these back roads. Whenever you're ready! On Jamie's vintage record. Put the handles down. Today. Just push them both down. Brandon is on the controls. I've never actually operated one of Jamie's classic tow trucks before, but I'm always willing to take on new chances and opportunities. Dad, I was the one that hooked it all up. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, good. Just to make you more nervous. <laughs> Via remote control, Jamie will operate the Pete. We're gonna start coming now, Brandon. Okay, we got some action happening, I'm thinking. But the pickup still attached to the deck. All lines are tight. Is a wild card. We've got a really tricky situation here. If the pickup comes off, and it might go all the way down to the bottom. Sammy! That's the truck. Hey! Come on, baby. In the Fraser Canyon backcountry. Jamie. Jamie is in a tug of war. No more. After a crash involving his own fleet. We haven't had an accident this serious in our whole history of being in business over 18 years. This truck starts to ship. Hey, Jamie! Jamie! Whoa. That's the truck. The vehicle the flat deck was hauling. Okay, uh, the pickup is now officially disconnected. Has been left behind in the flip. The pickup comes off, it's a total loss anyway. Jamie will focus on the flat deck. I've got that chain somewhere here. And leave the pickup for later. Being able to pull the unit up in separate pieces is easier on the equipment. There you go. I don't have enough line to run snatch block. I see the truck too now. A quick re-rig. That's it. Okay. Okay. And the team is ready. To power the 17,000 pound unit of the 60 degree bank. Go, go. Jamie works his modern record and keeps an eye on the casualty. It's not an easy, easy job. But we just gotta get at it and try to avoid the obstacles. They're running both up. Run them both. Under Jamie's direction. You see how you load up, then I give you a little hand. Brandon operates 47-year-old Mo. It's a little more mechanical. Bring it on, Mighty Mo. This is the first time that Brandon and I actually work together while he's running a truck and I'm running a truck. Tighten it up. He's probably a little nervous, but he's getting it. Here she comes. Now it's going up pretty good, eh? But winching the flat deck of the rough bank. Everybody stay aside of this truck. It's starting to shift. It's testing Jamie's wreckers topside. Now there's quite a few good-sized logs there that you're crawling up and over. I'm pretty sure we're dragging about half of them. Feels like there's some here. They're off the ground, Jamie. They're off the ground up here. The thing's halfway up the mountain. I can't let it go. That's a lot of pull. And the Pete's wheels... Jamie! ...aren't the biggest problem. Jamie! What about the boom? The strain could be too much for Mo. I'm looking at this boom here, and it looks like it's starting to bend. If that boom snaps, it's coming right into you guys. Keep going. Keep pulling. Bend, it's bending over it. It's going to break. Hold on. A little bit of fracture. Oh, no. You didn't uh, take the stress. I'm between a rock and a hard place. Oh, my God.
130 kilometers away, high on the coke. The first dump of snow in months has hit the mountain pass. Yeah, I just don't want jackknives down the hill. Highway maintenance supervisor Curtis Brown monitors the situation. We've been plowing all day, sanding up the hill in the summit. Pretty much all hands on deck, doing our best to keep it open. Plows are out working pretty good. South of the snow shed. Authorities make sure transport drivers chain up for the steep climb. The trucks that decide to go by without having chains on, that's what we're down there to enforce. Put your chains on, guys. Yeah, we wrap your back down the line. But when trouble still strikes, the last line of defense is Team Green. First time I come up on the hill, every year I feel great. There, I've just put 30 miles on this hill backwards. Got my dancing shoes on, let's party. Yeah, okay, you can grab the one behind me. Yeah, you bet. Firing towing's Gord boy has been called for a semi. That's a bad spot for his truck to be. That spun out despite chaining up. This guy, for whatever reason, has torn his chains apart. So Gord's job. You got a tow pin put in front of this thing? No, I want to. No, 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 too late. You're getting pulled up. Is to pull the trucker up the steep grade. He's not getting out of that situation without some help. But the driver he that broke. wants to keep trying himself. Yeah, can you can you can, brand new chains? Look, man. look, look. You ripped your chains to shreds. He's got an at-bat, and that just brings mine out. Not getting into an argument with this guy about this. And you want to play attitude, don't go. I got a big truck, too. You don't have a choice. You're blocking the highway. You're blocking me. I, I don't want to tow my truck. Maintenance supervisor oh, Curtis arrives to check in. Oh. Get CBSC up here. Come on, man. Wait, no, 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 no. But Gord needs more backup. No. Obviously, this guy doesn't think I have any authority. You want to argue? CBSC can come talk to you. So, we'll call in the authority, because they can nail you. on the Coquihalla Highway. You don't have a choice. You're blocking the highway. You're blocking me. I, I don't want to tow my truck. You don't, I don't have a choice. Have a stubborn trucker with broken chains. A lot of these guys don't want to admit that they're in trouble. Okay, brand new chains, Look, man. look, look. Don't argue with me. Has Gord needing reinforcements. Come on, man. Wait, no, 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 no. Look, you want to argue? CBSC can come talk to you. No. Well, we'll get somebody up here with a badge, and we'll deal with this. Within minutes, uh, I guarantee the CVSC is going to be out there. Authorities arrive. CVSC is basically the truck cops. And yeah, uh, but it's still a, it's a controlled freeway. Okay? Yeah. That means you can't even stop on, a, on this highway. They can write some pretty hefty tickets. Do you have a chain lying on the ground there? Yeah, I'm just putting the. Okay, okay so yeah. grab it, pick it up, let's go. Finally, the trucker falls in line. Standard? Uh, uh, manually, yeah. I know. Okay. Just start grabbing as many gears as you can. I want to be in high range. Gord saddles up. The cowboy roping cattle. Some days you just got to lead them by the hand. And begins the pull. Join guys up there. I want them to get up the hill and be happy about it. and then carry on, because let's face it, these guys are on schedules. At the top. That wasn't so hard. With the job done, the trucker takes note of Gord's serious jewelry. Look at the chains I got. Lighter or much heavier or much better. After having had a look at what I'm running, I'm hoping he doesn't find himself in this situation again. My good chains, the last year they won't rip and tear like that. There we go. Looks like it might be letting up now, hopefully. I hope he's learned his lesson. I hope I never see him again. Are we clear on the hill now? 
Coldwater's Admiral, all clear there, eh? The battle for the mountain. Thank you. Is won for now. Plow truck so you can move in. Away we go for another round. Thank you, Mr. Plowman. Oh, Jimmy Davis out there. Down in the canyon backcountry. Keep going. Jamie's old school record. If that boom snaps, it's coming right into you guys. He's under severe strain. Recovering one of Jamie's own trucks. That's a lot of pull. I'm really worried right now, and this thing could snap off. It's bending over it. It's gonna break. We can't drop the load. It's still suspended there, halfway up the mountain. Hold on. But Moe's boom. Unbelievable. Loses the fight. He didn't uh, take the stress. I actually pushed it against the bolster and bent the boom on Mighty Mo. You know, sometimes there's collateral damage in these those times. I'm gonna run this one only. But Jamie marches forward. Want me to go on that side? Yeah, you can go do it on that side. So, Brian. Yeah. What we gotta do now is get a line down the bottom of it. We're gonna re-rig to the bottom. It's gonna pull direct. With Mo down to a single boom. You do this, I'll unhook it. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> yeah. This time, Jamie will re rig the flat deck himself. I've got to make sure that there's nothing extraordinary going to stop us from winching it. He has got to be in there. I think that's where he gets his satisfaction from. Okay, tighten that one up. up. Go up. Brand it. Huh? No when you have a dad that's on the road in the tow business, you will respect his work ethic. So you're gonna just snug it up, Brandon, and then I'm gonna release mine, and I'm gonna go ahead. So you're just gonna hold it up. Are you sure it's gonna hold it? Oh, yeah, it'll do it. Yep. We're gonna forge the peat, and we're gonna bring the back end of the truck up to the back end of the of Mighty Mo. Yeah, go ahead. Brandon kicks Mo's remaining boom into action. I'm holding this thing. I'm doing this thing all on my own. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Yeah. Oh, it's going up pretty good, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah just hold there. Mighty Mo's going to hold it where it is, and we'll get the final part of this job done. Almost there. Okay. Jamie will lean on his modern iron. I might be able to just put the lockers in and drag it to bring the wreck the rest of the way up. We're under pressure to get off the road. I just can't believe how much traffic's on this poor service road. Uh, what we got to do now the road where we can hook onto it. Using the Pete's 605 horsepower engine, Jamie begins to pull the flat deck. Come on, baby. But the soft gravel road. I can't believe he's pushing his new truck like this. Isn't cooperating. Oh my, look at this. Oh my god. Rough block. On a narrow logging road. And, uh, you just play the waiting game. A once in a lifetime job. I can't believe he's pushing his new truck like this. As Jamie going all in. That's uh, coming up now. To rescue his own flat deck. I can't even remember the last time we had an accident with one of our trucks. Come on, baby. But the soft shoulder that claimed the unit. Don't want to wreck nothing. Is complicating his efforts. Well, that ain't gonna work. This is a tough job just because of the real estate. We gotta get traffic open. A lot of people have been pretty patient waiting here. So we're gonna do this last little bit. So Jamie harnesses the power of the Pete's two 25,000 pound winch lines. A little bit longer of a pull, but I know it's gonna lift up onto the road. Right there. Beauty. Hey, Brian, can you steer it with me? Okay. I'm gonna climb in and just crank it the best I can so that we can get her off to one side. Okay, here we go. That looks good. Yeah, 
Travelers want to get home. They got to go to work tomorrow. It's open. Good to go. Is that driver okay? I hope he's okay. Yeah. Just as busy on that road as it would have been on Highway 1. Thanks for your patience. Thank you. Rush hour and then a hot lot. <laughs> so one more job, man. That's it. The pickup that was on the flat deck. That is intense. Is still 250 feet down. Now we've got to get the customer's truck up. So start pulling some cable. You're doing good. <sighs> Jamie will turn this rig up. This is the definition of hell. Into a solo test for Junior. This is something he's going to have to do on his own. Feed it through the other and pull it out. And then pull this end around. I need him to be confident. He's got to start to make these decisions. I'm going to put this thing through here, the hook. Yeah. yeah. OK. You got her. Hook up 101. He's getting in there and getting her done. It's definitely easier for me to go up and down that slope. It's because I'm younger and because he's bigger. <laughs> Junior reaches the wreck and gets to work. I'm just hooking up and trying to just do everything right. It's ready! So let's fire it up and start winching. For this pull, Brandon will operate Mo from its vintage platform controls. Helping him do this job, having that kind of respect from him, it's a pretty good feeling. It's you and the machine, man, right? There'll come a day when I got to hang the keys up here but I gotta know that these guys are gonna get it done and they know what they're doing. You ready to go? Well, Junior's gotta have her hooked right, it's moving. I think it's hooked up the right way. But now the 5,000 pound unit needs to make it up the rugged bank. Oh. We're fighting the logs, the stumps, the rocks, the pull of the dirt. To lower the resistance, Jamie is taking an upside-down approach. We're winching the pickup up on its roof because it's a smooth surface. So it's actually more like a toboggan. There you go. Now you're cooking. We know it's a total loss, so it's the best way to recover it. Pull up a little bit, slowly. Now past the worst of the obstacles. We'll need to pull it over. They roll the unit onto its wheels. Keep going. It's been a long day. I do believe we've hit about 12 hours. Yeah, we're almost there. That's all. That'll be good. <laughs> well, I'll just uh, drive ahead with it. Now Jamie's modern wrecker yeah, he's got it the hook now. needs to finish the job. The flatbed is lined up to haul the pickup away. We got everything out of the ditch. I'm absolutely exhausted. Like that, eh? That's right. Boys did a really good job. They worked hard. The takeaway? Come on, let's go. Get off there. Is epic on the job training for the next generation. Once you start to do recovering, you've done some jobs. Put them in here. It becomes something that stays with you. As an extra, right? just, just to get rid of the slack. Years from now, they'll probably look back and they'll go, remember when we did that flatbed job? I hope they get that recovery itch. I'm done. With the record secured. Enough fun for one day. The team heads home. Just beats the office. What a fun day. Have yeah, a safe drive and get home safe, guys. Thanks very much, you too, man. Take care.
What's going on with the highway fire south of the mirror? 160 kilometers northeast. Very slippery up there in places, guys. Yesterday's late fall storm has blanketed the town of Merritt. Be careful. On the coke. Cool. I like your style. A military grade road warrior. He's a bit of a tank. It's like the bulldozer on the rubber tires. Heads to an off road call. Wow. With supervisor Dylan Greenwood on duty. It's got six wheel drive. We can go pretty much anywhere. Last winter. The new monster. The 23,000 pound military rotator was added to Reliable Towing's fleet by owner Suki Madge. We purchased a military truck in the hopes of being able to do any job that's out there for us. It's an M936. It did 30 years of service before it was retired, and then we found it. The Green Giant saw minor action, retrieving a stolen camper. Really? There we go. But today, Reliable's secret weapon will face its first real recovery. Somebody sent us some photos about a pickup truck that went down an embankment off of Highway 5. Following behind in a reliable 4x4 one-ton. This military truck is very slow. Is operator James Luke. It's pretty big, pretty badass looking, and it's definitely going to be fun to play with. Our destination. Dylan leaves the highway. Pack it into the bush. Adventures where no roads go. The 6x6 is pretty much going to be the one that we're using for terrain that's not every day. But in a field below the coke. Holy fudge of coats. Looking for a single wreck. Double whammy. Someone in off right there and there. They discover double the challenge. Wow. This is insane. Bob, is that reliable? Near Merritt. Oh, my God. Yeah, look at that, eh? The first real recovery for Reliable's Green Gamble is off-road to the extreme. Being able to drive this wrecker into this snow-covered field, it's a very versatile piece of equipment. It's him. But what was supposed to be one wreck... Holy fudge, close. One and two. ...has turned out to be two. We had an RCMP call for a vehicle that had left the road. Double whammy. We actually discovered that there was another vehicle the same make of truck. So this is the first one, right? Second. 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 This was first, second. He was following. Also on scene yeah. is longtime team member Rooster yeah. Merkley. Why is this here? <laughs> Two separate accidents in the exact same spot. Wow. What are the odds? Hopefully we get this done nice and quick. For the last several winters... Come to Papa Rooster. Rooster's been working hard for Reliable. Okay, Roosty. Hoping to move up the ranks. A cock a doodle -doo. My goals are just to keep the roof over my head, eventually get into the bigger trucks. He's that type of person that if we give him any kind of challenge, he'll meet it. But today's recovery... How fast do you think he was going? He must have been going pretty good. He ended up almost in the same spot as that one. Is double what they bargained for. It'll make the day a little bit more challenging. Seems to be a hot spot. The pickups are in a patch of trees, 100 feet uphill from the military truck. Yeah, this one will roll. Probably bring them to here and then nose over there and pull them down that way. Working from the extraordinary spot. Uh, it's right off the road there. We'll keep the coke flowing smoothly. We're going to deal with them off the highway. We'll have to drag them a ways and maneuver them around obstacles. Their first target will be the black pickup. We'll back it into the bank and drag it out into the field. Get her fired up. 
But before they even begin the recovery... Switch the other one? They have to unspool the mechanical 50-ton winch. It's a two-man operation to get this thing set up. Am I pulling that winch out? Yeah. The one-ton lends some horsepower. Pull it. We'll just do what we got to do to get the job done. Sounds good. We'll walk out what we need is the rest. Now they must trek the line uphill through the fresh snow. Ugh. I got a chain, rooster. We're going to hook onto this pickup truck, drag it out of the bush. Okay. okay. I'm going to start yanking her. The first wreck is hooked up. If we didn't have the army truck, we'd bring either Thor or the black sheep, and we'd have to drag it up there. We'd be up the creek without the paddle. But the 6x6 still has to prove it's got what it takes. It's a bit of a test for this thing, see how it works. Good. Okay. the forest, the 5,000-pound pickup nears a steep drop. Normally, our trucks are pulling vehicles up hills, not downhill. Watch yourself, Rooster. Any second. About to get messy. Gravity will take over. It's going to go wherever it wants to, path of least resistance. With the plunge slowed by a tree, the reliable crew gets lucky this time. I'll just back up there. We'll on that side and you take it out. We got the first truck out of the bushes and used the one ton to get it up the hill. Good, James. Whew. On to the next. <laughs> but the second pickup will put up more of a fight. There's no steering. Not a good axle left in this truck. Oh, sure, go from the bottom. I tried from the top. This truck's pretty heavily damaged. Hopefully nothing falls off or falls apart. At the military wrecker, Dylan begins to winch. Good. But the second pickup with its broken axles. Watch yourself, Rooster. Is difficult to wrangle. Nicely. The worst case scenario is it gets hung up. Timber! And then we're not able to move it. And the trickiest obstacle Hold on. is yet to come. We're going to have to pull it through the fence into this field to get it into the clearing. The reliable team regroups. You want me to go kind of like on this side? Yeah, just down. And then we'll just hook you to the front toe pin there. It'll bring over the front end. We're going to use the one ton and help direct the uh, truck. With one line from the military truck, they'll add a second line from the one ton to finesse the pickup through a gap in the fence. Just hook it to the driver's side chain. Okay. Unfortunately, with the damage on this truck, it's a little hard to maneuver it. I'll pull it ahead and he'll steer it over. Okay. Ready? Yep. I guess we'll see how well this works. It's working. But as the pickup nears the fence... Okay, it needs the front end to go that way. A little bit of finesse, my friend. I think it's going to hit this post. Oh! It's going to take that out. Oh, come on! Oh, there's a couple of four-wheelers in the ditch here. In a field near Merritt. I'll pull it ahead and he'll steer it over. Okay. Reliable's off-road weapon. Okay, it needs the front end to go that way. He's struggling to get a damaged pickup oh, okay. through a narrow gap in a fence. I think it's going to hit this post. We don't want to damage the fence too much. Oh. Oh. 
But the unit makes contact. Oops. Now working into dust. They got a wide open place now. Dylan will come back to fix the fence later. We're hoping to get out of here before it gets dark out. Dylan unhooks the one ton's line. With a second truck no longer needed. Hey, Dylan! Yep. Which one? The back one. James gets his first shot at running Reliable's off road weapon. Testing out a new toy and see if we either break it or it works just fine. When it comes to deeper snow, the 6x6 six six is definitely the truck that should be going in. With daylight fading... Go over here, like, line right next to the military. The team hustles to get out of the bush. <sighs> Go ahead. And then to the right. Good. Good. James is going to halt to the top. Been interesting just the way we had to pull these out but it all worked all in all we got two good recoveries two jobs out of it and the military rotator has gone where no normal heavy dares this machine's amazing it's gonna do anything we need it to do i'm super excited about the future holy crap that didn't take very long yeah that helped for sure right on have a good one Days later, in hope. Oh man, oh man. Jamie looks over the mangled reminder of a crash involving one of his own. We're happy that Rob survived the accident. They can build trucks every day of the week, but we can't replace people. Stopping in for the first time since the accident, <sighs> Rob is out of the hospital. I was very lucky that day. It was a lifetime experience, and I'd never want to live it again. Hey, there you are. Hey. So how's, how's things going there? I remember the first part of going down, and then all I remember is somebody yelling, and I came to, and I was on the roof inside of the truck. Incredibly, Rob fought his way out of the cab and clawed 250 feet up the bank. Basically, I took advantage of my adrenaline and got out and got to the top and got to safety. How are you feeling? I got uh, a hairline fracture. It tore part of the bone up. I'm glad I'm alive. I never want to ever do that ever again. I thought I was dead. This is a serious event for Rob, and it's serious for his family. What would his little girl do without a daddy? I could have not walked away from that, and I realize that now. It's like... Somebody was looking out for me, I guess. You know what? Come here. Give me a big hug, buddy. A big teddy bear. You know what? You've been here a long time. You've done a hell of a job. I think I kind of had a really emotional moment with this whole deal. Oh, you did good. I'm glad you're still here. I'm glad I'm here still. It's all right. So you're all right. You hit me close to home. Well, that was really scary, man. We can always, we can always build more trucks. We can't build more people. Right, right. I'm glad that we can page and move on. At least Rob has it tomorrow. All right. Go home and get some rest, buddy. Thanks. All good. Appreciate it. You did okay. It was scary, though. I got it. Next time on Highway Through Hell. Pretty unstable. A lopsided wreck. That thing is sketchy. Tests Merv and the rotator. The load is near the ditch. Greg swings back into action. It's not a good place for us to be. On a supersized challenge. I'm back on the Coca-Cola. And a face from the past. Welcome aboard. As long as it comes in one piece, I'm happy. Makes a heavy rescue comeback. This time on Highway Through Hell. She's pretty unstable. A lopsided wreck. 
That thing is sketchy. Tests Merv and the rotator. The load is in the ditch. Greg swings back into action. It's kind of a place for us to be. On a supersized challenge. We're back on the Coca-Cola. And a face from the past. Welcome aboard. As long as it comes in one piece, I'm happy. Makes a heavy rescue comeback. Mid-November on BC's Coquihalla Highway. See, it's worse the worse as you go up. Temperatures hovering around zero. No Make the climb greasy. It just turns into a slush ball. But people keep coming. That's everybody's motto. It'll never happen to me. Hustling down Snowshed Hill. Don't be gentle. Is a Vulcan wrecker like no other. Back down and uh, unplug the road. Who oh, oh. oh, is it, Alquire? All right, let's roll. First, second, third, fourth. One, two, three, four. For more than three decades. All right, here we go. Al Quirey has helped truckers running the mountain pass. When I started towing for my dad, there would be maybe 50 trucks in 24 hours. But now, there's about 6,500 trucks. On the south side of the snowshed. He caught a little bit of an entry. You can't park here, you're gonna get hit. We need to get you out of the way. Highway Supervisor Tom Agar. No brakes. Let the clutch out. Does his part. No brakes. Coaching a nervous driver. Stay towards the guardrail. Down the steep grade. Yeah, okay, you're good now. Don't get out too often. I'll be staying out here until this all ends. But heading northbound. Going to Regina. One trucker hauling industrial supplies. When I'm 18, I jumped in the truck. It's been a few years. Is extremely confident. It's 49,000 pound load. For this little bit of snow on the road, don't even really need chains. One thing Coquihalla stands for Steep hill bring change. As Christian Shoderna clears the snowshed, his barefoot gamble. Ah, it's kind of skidding. Ah, it's getting a little icy here. No, 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 no. Stops him dead. Hopefully, there's nobody crashing in me. It's very stressful. Stressful for that driver. Now I'm getting nervous. Coca-Cola. Damn, she wouldn't make it. A trucker spinning without chains. Hopefully, there's nobody crashing in me. He's in a dangerous situation. Yeah, now they're going real good. Backing down the hill for the 14th time tonight. You thought you were just about done? And it starts all over again. Al. Well, I'm excited. 
arrives to get Christian to safety. Here's the rescue. Yeah, you betcha. Oh, you're getting a tow up the hill, and then at the end of that, you gotta go by chance. I just let you know I got 50,000 pound load on. You got two axles chained up, boy. That's good. OK, let's start grabbing here. Yep. Rattled from the spin out. I never had a tow up, though. The pull up. Ah, oh, he's struggling. Is nerve wracking for Christian. That's slushy snow here. This is worse than ice. Yeah, okay. moving here now. But as Big Green claws up the mountain, Not much better. Okay. He settles in for the ride. I enjoy having a tow truck around. Oh, you handle yourself. That's what makes good drivers versus bad drivers. Oh, okay. It takes confidence and tenacity to get the job done. This is it? Awesome. Thank you, man. Don't follow on the way up here. And we managed to get everyone going, and it looks to be slowing down here for a little bit. Yeah, we're moving, Pink. Ninety kilometers north. Got a highway. Looks great today. Oh, the town of Merritt is bare and dry. Well, let's go look at that truck. At the reliable towing yard. Do you think that timing chain would be an issue with that? Owner Suki Manj is on site. It's always the right-hand side. To welcome a new hire. When you start it up, you really hear it. Expected to arrive today. My plan has always been to bring people together and grow. En route from the west. Where we go? Reliable's new addition is no stranger to heavy rescue. He knows the industry. For me, it was it was a no-brainer. I come hard to doing what I do. Returning to mountain recovery is the unmistakable Scott Bird. After being away for five years, just thinking to myself, what am I doing? <laughs> Back on the Coca-Cola. In winter's past. You ready, Jim? Scott and his one-of-a-kind attitude. Oh, yeah. Worked for Jamie Davis. If you don't do as you're told, leave. There's days when I love Scott, and there's days when his rough-around-the-edges personality irks me to death. Holy. But I was confident 100% that he's going to get out there and do the job. We're doing big, bad bulls like this. We're big, bad chains, buddy. Jamie has his style, and I have my style. Go, go. All of us are striving to be the best that we can be. Smash. Today, so I'll just be hitting the mountain from the other angle now. Scott and his three decades of recovery know-how. I'm really looking forward to getting behind the controls. Arrive at Reliable's Merit Base. Wow. The man himself. Welcome aboard. Thanks. <laughs> the key things I, I think about bringing you on, Scott, is to have you uh, work with the rest of the guys. Scott has the experience. Like, number one, it's hard to get that. They want to listen to an old fella you added around for a little bit. I'm glad to teach. Awesome. I'm getting on in age, and that's what I'm hoping to accomplish here, is just working well with some of the younger guys. Hey, buddy. You ready for it? Let's go to work. <laughs> Can't wait to learn some new tricks from them. Team Reliable, away we go. Two hours later. Yeah, time to go play on the coke. <laughs> In a familiar 50-ton wrecker, Scott heads to his first call in years. I'm driving a truck that used to be dubbed HR 116. 
bought from Jamie Davis. The Heavy is now Reliable's most powerful truck. Off to the race as we go. Minutes away from the yard, Scott arrives at a busy off-ramp that's been shut down. Then the mayhem starts. I've told him I can walk the walk. Now I just have to step up, prove myself. Here's the rub rail. Go around the corner. But Scott soon realizes. My goodness. He'll be shaking the rust off. The guy coming into the corner way too hot. On a blowout job. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Basically, it just exploded on impact. There's parts and pieces everywhere. Off ramp to block. Are you by the look of it? On the edge of merit. Laura, he didn't do a very good job on that car. Scott's first recovery in years. This corner has claimed a few. Is an explosive situation. It's an older motorhome made out of wood. There's parts and pieces, just a mess. On the tight corner. The camper hammered into the guardrail ripping its flimsy frame to shreds. The driver got ejected. I understand he made it, but it was bad. Do you really only get one chance to find her, you went too bad. Arriving on scene. Hey, buddy. Ready to go? Supervisor Dylan Greenwood. Huh. All right, well. Joins Reliable's newest hire. Scott's a good person of experience to come here and help take some weight off my shoulders. Got the skylight in there now. Dylan. I heard another accident there. Is that on Rainbow Corner? Knows this off-ramp is notorious. Trucks crash into the wall, leaving a streak of paint. So they call it Rainbow Corner. But Scott discovers uh, this wreck yuck. is exceptionally foul. It hit you like a brick wall. He hadn't dumped his sani tanks. Oh. The camper's septic system Nasty mount. ruptured in the crash. The smell is just absolutely disgusting. We're tow truck guys, and we're supposed to sweep up the mess, but that, sometimes it gets beyond. Ugh. Ugh. They never crash with the septic tanks empty. They're always full. But with a main route into town shut down. This is the busiest intersection on the, the entire car. So it cleared up. The 19,000-pound motorhome on the verge of collapse. I think it's got an awfully flat-looking tire. Needs to be moved off the barrier. The RV's in rough shape. This thing almost needs a trailer to be leaving here. We just gotta do it, we gotta do it. Anybody tell me that exit's closed? But Scott will dust off his skills. Closed. And see what he can pull off. Tell me what you think when we're moving. With a heavy wrecker on scene. The logistics of doing the recovery, you're kind of trying to balance it out. You ready? We think this thing is going to hold it together enough to be able to drag it off the highway. As long as it comes in one piece, I'm happy. If this thing falls apart, we're going to have no choice but to pick it up by hand. I don't want to do that. Good. OK, we're out. Let's go for broke. Go for broke. Now off the barrier. Okay. 
Bridge God and Dylan push the limit. Limping to a nearby rest stop. There you go. We we're gonna turn the way to the yard, but it was very evident that that wasn't gonna happen. It wasn't gonna make it. Boy, hell. <laughs> So Dylan puts in a call. Hi. Hey, how's it going? To operator James Lou. I got a, uh, a motorhome I need to throw in that Landall. I was already scheduled to do another job. OK. All right, thanks, bud. It's going to be hours upon hours of waiting. We'll give him the buoy in. I'll take this to the yard. All right. Dylan Lee Scott. Dylan stole my gloves. To play the waiting game for now. Oh, it's gonna cost him plenty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two hours southwest. In the Fraser Valley. Anybody tell me what's going on eastbound? Dump truck there. Uh, getting destroyed. A mess of bent metal. Holy. Has the Trans Canada Highway pinched down to one lane? Thanks for the heads up, driver. Five minutes away. Oh, we're gonna go. Highway 1, east of Mount Lehman. Operator Chris Mervin heads to the call in aggressive towing's 50-ton rotator. Towing, we don't know what we're doing every day. It always changes. Heavy, 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 heavy. Arriving at the crash site for 39-year-old Merv. Yeah, I just passed that wreck. It's not pretty. A special day my birthday. I'm supposed to be at a dinner right now. Isn't exactly going as planned. Every year for the last four years, I've got a wreck on my birthday. If you want to make a plan to do something, you're going to end up working. Crazy. Everything's strewn out all across the whole ditch. There's bits and bobs everywhere. Nuts, man. The accident. Happened before nightfall. That thing is long your time. When the loaded dump truck blew a steer tire. Uh, the car involved there too. And smashed into a four-wheeler. I assume everybody made it okay. Thankfully nobody was injured in this crash. When you lose your steer tire, it pulls the truck whatever direction it wants. It just kind of goes for a free-for-all. It's very important to have good tires. If they're below the wear indicators or at the wear indicators, change them. Now, oh wow. Also on scene is Merv Swamper, Jordan coming forward. Yard sale. Yeah, slightly. What a mess. I'm quite surprised. There was no serious injuries. For the past several winters... Yeah, you're good. 25-year-old Jordan has been Merv's trusted right-hand man. Well, Jordan's a very hard worker. He's always listening, always learning. One day, I would like to be in one of the rotators so I can do what Merv does. Tonight, to get the mangled dump truck out of the ditch. Like 70s or 80s? I'll grab, yeah, good ones. From the rotator, they'll run a high line and a low line to lift and winch the unit back to the road. How's it go around? But Jordan sees a go-to hook point is damaged. Anything? Yeah. 
Really? I take my rigging quite seriously because there's a lot that could go wrong. That's gonna fall out though. But Merv's experience shouldn't because it'll be coming up the whole time too. Tells him it just might work. Sometimes when you're on a scene, you get locked in. It's like tunnel vision. I don't like it on that hook like that, but okay. It's always the unknown. We're going to give it our best shot. Put some tension on it. We'll see what it does. Merv takes the controls. OK. But it soon becomes clear. Gonna keep falling out. Jordan's instincts were right. Towing is trial and error. Lots and lots of error. Look <laughs> it on the bottom then. Okay. Any tow truck driver who thinks he knows everything has got it all wrong. Jordan sorts out a better rig point. Okay, I'm in. Very good. With the lines dialed. Merv attacks the 40,000-pound dump truck again. Oh, it's pretty unstable, eh? But inside the box, there's a problem. It's really heavy to that side. Still has a bit of load. A lot heavier on that one side. Way heavier. Because the load's all to one side, it actually wants to potentially roll the truck over. That thing is sketchy. Just holding on by a thread. Bit of a funky smell in the air. On the outskirts of Merritt. Just put it up, Al. James and Alandall. It made it that far. Arrive at a pullout to help Reliable's newest hire. We have Scott Bird on our team now. I've heard from quite a few people that he's a great operator. He's got her dialed. The backup is needed. So this is the poo truck. Oh, Lord. <laughs> on Scott's first recovery in years, a destroyed motor home. Oh, that was nasty, man. With a distinct odor. So this RV smells like a nice summer drive <laughs> when you hit the farmland. Earlier today, the camper ripped apart on an off-ramp. Those tiny tanks exploded just like the rest of the motorhome did. It's got wicked air conditioning, though. <laughs> you okay with doing a little rodeo show? Oh, yeah. The final step will put Scott's comeback to the test. We're gonna put it on his trailer and get it back to the yard. It's bent, it's broken. It's gonna be trouble. <laughs> it's Scott's first time working a winch line in nearly five years. As I'm lifting this thing, I have to be so careful. Come on! That's all I can lift it right there. With the 19,000-pound unit hanging in the balance. Back underneath it to the front tires, and I'll set it down. Scott wastes no time. I don't want it to fall apart before it gets on that trailer. It's all yours. Scott knows his stuff. He had that thing ready to be loaded. It looks like the poo truck is about done with. I'm very happy that this thing is on James's trailer. Well, I'm gonna go home and have another shower. Maybe throw my clothes in the garbage. <laughs> Good times up here. Scott likes to joke around a lot, but he knows what he's doing. He's got the experience. It really helps you know that the job's gonna get done. 
I'm excited to get involved with the new crew. I have high hopes for this season. Done! Turkey dinner done! So what's going on there, Eastbound? Two hours away. In the Fraser Valley. Travel truck losses near there. Merv and his rotator. She's pretty unstable, eh? Are grappling with a lopsided rack. Can roll over. It can go back in the ditch. That thing is sketchy. The weight on this dump truck is it's somewhat severe. On my thread. Oh. But Merv's skilled handling. Two feet. Very good. Lands the back end on the road. Nice. But the battle with the destroyed dump truck. This got the steer axle ripped out of it flat tires and all the wet dirt. So buried in mud in here. Is far from over. Yeah. This truck definitely launched. Late for his own birthday party. I'm gonna pull forward 10 feet here. It seems like every year for my birthday. Merv will reposition the rotator to try to reel in the front end fast. There's gonna be a lot of resistance. Pulling it out of the ditch. Snatch block. Drag it sideways. Spin her over onto the roadway. Got her. Hey. I'm gonna get this job done. I don't wanna stand on the side of the highway. <laughs> but for the plan to work. It's about as greasy as she gets, boys. They need to power the unit Ooh. through thousands of pounds of extra earth. I thought on the dirt. What we're doing is pulling it back through its load that it spilled into the median. The whole front end's coming up with a ditch. Quite the wrestling match. It might not even pull it. There's a lot of dirt under there. I thought on the dirt. On the Trans-Canada Highway. The whole front end coming up with a ditch. A wreck bogged down by its own load is resisting Merv and his 50-ton rotator. Because we're just starting to dig there. It's all loose, soft dirt. It's piling up against it. We're just helping remediate the ditch this way. Merv. That's your plan. I'll see if I can pick it and swing it. Pivots his approach. Are we going to win? To crane the unit the final few feet to the road. Heck yeah. Give her a little bit of a lift and get it out of the ditch. In seconds. Oh my god. The final lift is complete. The huge sense of relief getting that truck out of there. Trailer backing up. A flatbed arrives to haul the wreckage away. We're getting much closer. Keep coming. <laughs> it fought us all the way out, but our team managed to pull through. Send it. Yeah, there you go. Going. Yeah, we're good. And for Merv, hey, happy birthday. it's a special day well spent. It's definitely a good feeling. There's a ton of people that all taught me what I know. And now I'm the one who's helping the younger guys below me. They just open. All right, thank you.
to the three foot. 120 kilometers east. The pilot's open. Truckers snake along windy Highway 3. That highway can be very, very dangerous. Be aware. It's an animal of its own. Just after 10 a.m., a 30-ton Jamie Davis record rolls to a call. This B train off the road. After spending the summer in Ireland, operator Greg Mulligan is back. I don't know whether he's on a band, so we'll figure it out when we get over here. A former elite sniper in the Irish military. Wow. That's up, man. Last winter, Greg came to Jamie, green to heavy rescue. All right. You're good. Okay, winch. I didn't know the first thing about wreckers or towing. I think that's good. We went to a logger together. He trained with me. These things are really delicate, right? Quick learner, really a natural at this job. Now in his second season, Greg wants to prove he can go it alone. I want to have a little bit more confidence and not be afraid to make my own decisions. Reaching the scene. All right, well, he's not apparently in the ditch. Greg sees this won't be an easy start. This guy went off the road. He's fully loaded. The driver. That corner slick. Is an American trucker out of his element. I've never had a road where you, you turn the steering wheel and you don't, it doesn't steer. Hey, how's it going? All right. He's not used to driving on these kind of mountain highways. Just come onto the corner a little too thin, ended up in the snowbank. What kind of weight do you reckon is uh whole thing? Yeah. There's probably 30 ton of straw on there. Now, rescuing the B train stacked high with straw is up to Greg. Wow. Sure packs it in there. Yeah, it sunk right in. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to get this truck out of here. To improve his odds. I don't want to go too heavy at it. I don't know what's in there. Greg chisels out the tractor as much as he can. When these trucks go into the snow hard pack, it really locks the trucks in. With the shoveling done. Throw some snatch blocks on, be ready to go, and hopefully then it won't delay you too much. Greg rigs for the heavyweight pull. I've never been told before. I'm curious. Greg, it's going to take everything he has and every rock has to get this job done. Give a little talk on this and see what it does. I'll just get you to sit in and then release the brakes, and uh, we'll see what it starts doing. Okay. Uh, The 95,000 pound B train isn't cooperating. There's a lot of resistance there from the snow. It wants to hold the wreck. It's not a good place for us to be. This little piece of road gets a lot of people. East of Hope on Highway 3. Push them right in the ditch. Greg's first recovery of the season. It's not a good place for us to be is a solo effort against a loaded B train locked in snow. Craig's really gonna have to pawn here. Yeah. You know, what did I learn last year? What can I do with this truck? Greg adapts his strategy. This job, you have to get that happy medium of 
when I start maybe see kind of start to pull it out, and then what I might get you to do at the same time is trying to help me. In the 30-ton Mac, he repositions, making room to winch the casualty forward. It's getting there. It's working out. The 95,000-pound unit. I think it probably can drive out of here now. Is ready to go. You did good. You did appreciate it. I want to be a guy that can just be tasked to a job. That's when you become a professional and make it look easy. Just go out, know what to do, no drama, get it done. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, you Hope. too. All right, have a good one. Safe travels. I have confidence in Greg. He's got what it takes. I'm happy. The road's open. Yes, sir. An hour and a half west in the Fraser Valley. Hello. Mission towing boss Ken DePerrin. So you buried your truck. Is called for a backcountry recovery. <laughs> oh boy. I love off road jobs. You never know what to expect when you get to them. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. But today, Ken is stuck at the yard. Being in the office is not really my cup of tea. Running the family business. There we go. Whoops. I am not a fan of paperwork. Never have been. So, in a mission one ton, we're off to Stable Lake Mud Flats. Operator Ryan Marshall is dispatched alone. We got a vehicle half in the water and I guess half in the mud. For the past few winters, Holy. Ryan has made his mark yeah, buddy. as a rising player on Ken's team. Just tighten it up, we'll see what we got. Ryan's a good guy to work with. He's actually one of the best guys we got on Small Wreckers. Spin! Spin the tires! I like to If someone says I can't do it, I will do it. 45 kilometers north of Mission. Whoa. Ryan turns off a rugged back road. It's like a different world up here. To the notorious Stave Lake Mud Flats. These guys are over there somewhere. Mud Flats can be a great place to go four wheeling. Down in the water with everybody around. I gotta figure out how to get to them but every so often there's the odd one that gets stuck and gets stuck really bad. It's a nice area to be at, but looks can be deceiving. So it's like, I don't want to sink when I'm down there. See, little puddle, but actually really deep. It's a big open mud pit. Finally. This is gonna be interesting. Ryan reaches his target. Hey, what's going on? Jeremy. Nice Ryan. You. So you're the one who's stuck? Yeah. The driver ventured oh, too water. far into the muck. I thought I could go across it, but as you can see, it didn't make it across. The off-roaders called for help. After they tried to pull the SUV out themselves, We've snapped quite a few ropes, snapped rear hitch. It's a difficult thing to just yank someone out of a mud hole. And I don't have any drive right now either. And Ryan discovers. So is this a neutral? Yeah. The failed do-it-yourself recovery. Frame's already broken there, so. 
has compromised a potential rig point. That's all right. They broke the bumper and that's a problem for me. What do you think? You're just scratching your head like, how do I do this? But with a quick assessment. Yeah, we got some hooks. We can, we can get it on there. Ryan scrambles a plan B. I just tell him, do it the way you've been trained. But a lot of this, you got to learn it out on the road. I lift it high, high on the back end. So what I'm going to rig to is the undercarriage of the frame. They haven't damaged it. But at the popular off-road spot, the crowd takes notice. It's a lot of pressure on me to get the job done. And logo on the side says mission towing. With all eyes on him, Ryan begins to win. Ryan's representing mission towing, and we want to make sure he's putting on a good show for these people. Very soft, yeah. I'm just going to see how this goes. And if it works, we got to get all that suction. I hope that's going to hold there. On the Stave Lake mud flats. We gotta get all that suction. I'm just gonna see how this goes. And if it works. Ryan. I hope that's gonna hold there. Fights a bogged down SUV with a crowd looking on. A lot of people like to film on their cell phones and post to social media. Ryan's representing our company out there. Just do the job right, and that's what you do. Ryan raises his boom. It's all about leverage. You have to lift it up to break the suction. And delivers a top-notch performance. That came out pretty nice, than I thought it would. It's nice to impress the people and get their trust that we can get the job done. Bigger crowd than normal, but it's a good crowd. Everything looked good. It was done professionally. Ryan did a great job. It came out nicely, though. He's the here there for sure. Nice. See ya. Away we go. We got it done. The next morning, time goes along, it's going to get worse. In hope. Get this cold, taking care of that. This is the thing we have to look after here. Jamie is catching up on paperwork. You can't be on the road and be around the office at the same time. Arriving to start his day. Hello. Uh, I brought you back a little something from the travels. Yeah. What is this? That's not major. Wow. Greg has brought a special <laughs> gift for Jamie and wife and business partner, Sherry. Cool. Thought it'd be nice to bring back something from Ireland. Hmm. A symbol passed through generations. The Davis family crest. A small little bit of history there and just a word. I always enjoy that European flavor of, of Greg's pretty common back in Ireland to have uh, the family crest on trucks. Oh, I like that. Me well, that's too. really cool. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank pretty you. Pretty cool. You're welcome. Yeah. He's top shelf. A guy like that doesn't walk through the door every day. Next time on Highway to Hell, a hard landing Heads up. is a high stakes recovery for the mission team. Oh, stop! A sudden storm. Put your hands on, guys. Launches James Luke into unfamiliar chaos. Come on! And Team Green. And I hate mud. Doubles down. Let's give her a little bit. On a sinking situation. Hey.
day I'm done In the center, in the symphony of the door A lie has begun, young a breath on thee In the wisdom the little root door In the gentle temple, center of the company in the harmony, the sing in the heart of the jungle, life is fly. Monkeys swing of branches in playful breath. Elephant to breathing in the side, jump left snake. Like to sing the sleigh in the sun, the Let's make Like to sing the sleigh 